work. And it says most of us have a distorted idea about patience. We think of it as something designed to help us suffer failure gracefully. But according to these scriptures, it will actually put us on the path to success. Patience or being consistently constant is the power twin of faith. They work together to see to it that the promises of God are fulfilled in our lives. Say, for an example, you need a job. You can go to the Word to see clearly that God promises to provide your needs. You can see He takes pleasure in the prosperity of His servant. Once you see that, faith takes hold and shout, Hallelujah, I've got the job I need. But what happens to that faith tomorrow morning when you go to three interviews and get turned down all three times? Then what? That's when patience has to take over. That's when you have to make a decision to stay constant, to act as if nothing has changed. The truth is, if you base your confidence on the Word of God, nothing really has changed. It says exactly the same thing it said yesterday or the day before. So if you put your patience to work, you know what you're going to say after those three unsuccessful job interviews, those three unsuccessful test results. You're going to say, hallelujah, I've got it. It is so. It, I am healed. It is well, just like you did before. You see, faith opens the door to God's promise for you. Patience keeps it open until that promise is fulfilled. Do you have your faith sight set on a promise of God today? A promise you've been waiting on for some time. Don't let the delay discourage you. Put patience to work. The word guarantees you will receive your reward. And that just blessed me last night. I just wanted to share that with everyone this morning. And I hope it takes hold to you today. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Or anyone else that wants to say anything, I want to. And the reason that I think God gave me this, uh, I, I prayed for Karen Hill. You know, she's my little nurse friend that uh, has want to rejoice and be glad in it. Is there anyone else, anything else that I pray? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Lord, we come to you this Saturday, October the 20th, 2018, Lord, just to say thank you. Lord, we thank you for the many blessings, the many opportunities to witness, to just call your name, to just intercede for our family and friends, to just to display, to walk, to talk the blessings that you have for us to others so they can see and know that you are still working on the plan that you have for us, Lord. And we just want to say thank you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for Minister Deaner's, Lord, her, her spirit, Lord, her enthusiasm, her presence, and wanting to feed on your word as much as she can, not just for herself, Lord, but to also share it with the saints that cannot hear what she hears, that cannot feel what she feels, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for her life, and I ask you, Lord, to bless everyone not just her immediate family, but all the families that she touches, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I speak that for uh, Dr. Y and everyone and all of us that have our individual assignments, Lord. You've all given us special gifts 
not the same gifts, but Lord, let us use our gift that you've given us to glorify you, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, for that. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for blessing everyone that has ever dialed this number, Lord, everyone that's ever expressed uh, worship to you, everyone that has pleaded the blood of Jesus, uh, Mr. Gabby, Lord, touch him forever. Thank you for his life, Lord. Thank you for him, Lord, in the name, whatever he's doing in his family. Lord, I speak blessings on him, Lord. I thank you for all the children, Teresa's daughters, Lord. I thank you for the training that she's already given them, Lord. And I thank you for the fruits of her training that's being represented in their workplace, Lord. I thank you for the angels, Lord, that I, that you have charge over all of our children, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, keeping them in all of their ways, lest they dash their foot against a stone. Lord, I thank you for the different diseases that we are encountering. I thank you, Lord, for being in the midst of every appointment, every treatment, every nursing home, everyone that's calling you, Lord. I thank you for the victory. I thank you, Lord. I just thank you, Lord, for the expectation, the manifestation of the prayers that are being presented to you today. Lord, touch the ones that are grieving today. 